So if you want to survey the field names in your area and add them to OpenStreetMap, and you might have watched the other video already of how to add them, but you might not be at that stage and you might still want to survey. The way to do that is fieldpapers.org. So you go to the website fieldpapers.org and that website allows you to make your own atlas. So you click on make yourself an atlas. And this is a really good way to work in a team like with a group of children or a group of adults, historically interested people or just people generally interested in heritage. And then you zoom into that area that you want to survey, your town's land or whatever. And I was told I would get some information from Karlesk. Excuse me if I pronounce that wrong. It's um, near Kelt somewhere. And as a preset, it gives you a row of two columns that you will later print out, but um, you will probably have to add more rows and columns at the top left there. And each of those tiles uh, will be an A4 sheet of paper then, so you have to imagine that you will have to have enough detail in, in each A4 paper to fit in names of fields and all the details that you want to survey. So you might just have to play around a bit to find out what suits your needs best. And in the menu to the left you can set the paper format to A4. You can also change the orientation of the paper to a portrait if you want to. Maybe if you're working with clipboards that might be useful. You can also change the base map that you're using for your atlas. So you can use the standard OpenStreetMap view that you're seeing here. Or there's a black and white view that's really not helpful because it only shows roads and maybe faint outlines of buildings. And there's the satellite view, which I would recommend um, a satellite view with labels, which really just shows the satellite view with the roads on it. And then there's the humanitarian. But as I said, the satellite view is probably the best. This is probably a good point to see how much detail you have in each of your A4 sheets. If you have too much or too little, or if you want to add rows or columns or something like that. Here's a quick demonstration of what the other map styles look like. Make sure you have the map style you want, and then just on the bottom left, click on Make Atlas. And depending on your background map and the number of pages you've chosen, that might take a couple of minutes. And as you can see, it has created this grid now from A1 to A4 and D1 to D4. And at the top you can see a map of the world and a little yellow dot, and if you zoom in it will show you in which region your atlas has been created. And at the bottom right you see a button saying download PDF, and you click on that. And that opens the atlas then that you can work with. And you'd see it consists of 17 pages in that case. The first page is an overview page that gives you the grid again. And then there are 4x4, four four, so 16, and in total that's 17 pages. And there's a QR code at the bottom right of the page, and that'll help fieldpapers.org later to localize your file. And when you scroll down, you'll see each page has fieldpapers.org, then a, a generated name for your atlas, and then the name of the tile, so A1, so you know for each page where it goes on the overview. And before you print out all these pages, you might want to scroll down and check if the size is okay for the team you're working with, if they'll be able to write the field names into the page and all the little features they might want to add, like welds or anything really small. And you can save that PDF then and send it on to your informants, your team, or you can print it off and go into the field and gather all the field names and the types of hedges and all the names of brooks and streams and wells and so on and so forth. And then you can continue with the other video of how to add field names to OpenStreetMap, or you can 
hopefully see the next tutorial that I'm gonna make when I get the information from the farmer.